Greetings, my beautiful people. This is Jamal Ali coming to you live from Rwanda, uh, Kigali. Specifically, I'm in a neighborhood called Kisozi. And just wanted to show you some of the realities of what, uh, what's going on in Rwanda here. This is the real Rwanda. And the reason why I say it's the real Rwanda is because this is the, how the majority of the people in the entire country is living. Some a little better, some a little worse, but this is kind of like the norm. So when you see the beautiful buildings downtown, you know, the Ubumwe Hotel, the, the Radisson, the Convention Center, and Kigali Heights, all those things are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful structures. Uh, but that's not the reality for the normal, everyday, what we would call the local people here in Rwanda. This is it, this is their reality. Now, before many of you get crazy in the comments, this is not to demean any Rwandan people, this is not to belittle them, to be condescending, to be negative or anything like that. This is just showing the real reality of the everyday people, which is the majority of Rwanda. And so we wanted to be able to show you a little bit of that as well. So um, yes, let's just, just take it away. Just take it away. I'm gonna show you some of the, the scenery right here. This is the everyday reality. This is how they're living. That's one of the stores that I go to and get some get some goods. So now, I've been living in this particular community for the last three weeks or so. I actually lived uh, up the road a little bit in a nice furnished three bedroom place, hot room, hot water kitchen inside nice more than i needed thick television on the wall wi-fi all of that right but just down the road from there is this reality this community in the same area if if uh, if you can believe that so again i just wanted to show this is how the everyday people in rondo are living and again not to be negative but just to be real okay so uh, we hear about Rhonda being the next Singapore. Come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. Rhonda has a long way to go to get there. Now, that's a great thing to aspire to, but Rhonda's nowhere near that. Nowhere near that. Okay, let's, so let's just keep it real. And again, that's a great thing to aspire to, and I think at one point uh, they will get close to that, but as we stand now, Rhonda has a long way to go. As you can see behind me, this is this is the reality. Um, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, there's uh, not not just my opinion, but the opinion of other young folks that I talk to, anywhere from the age of uh, 20 to 35. I would consider them to be young and the youth in this country. Uh, they tell me there's nothing for them to do. No recreation. Nothing to, to get out and enjoy themselves. They can't go, there's, there's no parks to go to uh, like we are used to going to at home. Uh, there's no outlet for them to, to, to grow and to expand their mind and their vision and their, their, their imagination. It's just not here. And I think that that's a, that's a tragedy because if this country is gonna move forward in the way that it wants to move forward, then the way it's gonna do that is through the, the youth some of these youth are going to rise up and become future leaders in Rwanda, if given the opportunity. But there's very little opportunity for people in this community and others like it to, to rise to a level of, of just thinking and understanding that they too can become powerful leaders in the world. I know from experience, from talking to, to people here, that there's very little hope. That's a tragedy. There's very little hope 
for them to uh, to ascend to higher levels of education. Education sucks here. This being real, it sucks here. They'll tell you that. The people will tell you that 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 the education sucks. Right. So it looks like the country is not putting a lot of effort, energy, money, and intention behind education. It's just not. So this is one of the realities that I that I want to share with you as well. Uh, when you look around this particular uh, area here, uh, you see the dirt roads that are unfinished, of course. Um, this is everyday reality for, for the majority of Rondons, which spells opportunity for someone from the outside because it's not going to be done from the inside. Someone from the outside coming outside of Rhonda into this particular area, uh, you have the ability to, to uh, grow the city by producing, you know, if you're into concrete, if that's what you're into in, in, in Europe, in Canada, in, in Americas, you know, if concrete is your thing, you can come here and build roads. You know, that opportunity is here. You can come here and build, or get in, if you're into the medical field, there's, it's wide open for you to come in here and has a, have a contribution into the medical industry. You see, because this is still a developing country Almost everything that you can think of needs to be lifted up. It needs to be elevated. It needs to be improved. And it takes some, not only some vision and some passion, but it takes some dollars. So again, that, that just spells opportunity. Again, I wanna uh, emphasize, this is not about being negative. This is not about being anti-Rondon. I love Rhonda. This is my fourth trip here since 2020, and I'll be back in about three months or so. So it'll be five trips. This is my retirement home. I'm here to stay. I come and go uh, back and forth to the U.S. because I have business and family there that I need to be a part of. So I come and I go. But this is my retirement home that I've already adopted. And so I try to look at everything here, uh, the good, the bad, the not so pretty all of that because that's that's the reality in terms of uh, this particular country and where I choose to uh, call retirement so I think I would be uh, a little remiss if I didn't share this side of Rhonda as well and so that's 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 all that we're doing to get you uh, so you have a, a a fuller picture of what Rhonda is is all about uh, so that's the purpose of this particular video. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, just to give you another view um, of Rhonda. Uh, in, per, in, in general, and in Gisozi in particular, this is, this is where I'm standing right now. It's beautiful today, it's hot today, I'm sweating. You know, it may be raining in a couple of hours. This is a rainy season, but uh, I love it. I love this place. And I think you will love it too. But one of the things I want you to know is that if you're coming from the U.S., if you're coming from Canada, you're coming from parts of Europe, uh, this is this is on a uh, another level. This is a couple of notches down from what you're probably accustomed to. So, as as an American, as an African American, uh, growing up in the states. You know, the United States is a very, very, very high standard of living there. It just is. For the longest, it's been the, the dominant country in the world. So it is the standard. Other countries are coming up now, but America is the standard. It's slowly but surely, maybe even fastly, falling, but America is the standard. Our education is on point. Many of you looking at this particular video that are coming to, to Rhonda in, in specifically in coming to Africa in general, have many negative things to say about the U.S. Rightfully so. There's a lot of BS going on there. But we also know that there's a lot of positivity going on there. Many of us are educated to the point where we can go anywhere in the world and do well. We're educated from kindergarten all the way up to university, where we can communicate with anybody in the world anywhere. That's because of the, uh, what America has afforded us. 
So I'm not going to throw out the baby uh, with the bathwater. America, I was born, raised there, educated there, and I consider myself to be a sharp, intellectual being. And I got that in America. But America also gave me a, a contrasting view of, of the world. So when you, you, when you explore and you get outside of America, you can see the realities of things that America don't necessarily show you. Then you can also see very clearly what America truly is. You can see the value of America. You can see what America offers you. You can see what America, how America is positioned in the world when you come to a country like this. Now, I'm not gonna call it third world, fourth world, fifth world, none of that, but it is a different world here in Rwanda. It's a different world, plain and simple. A world that I love, but a world that needs many, many things to come up to a level where it can be considered uh, one of the global leaders in the world, if you will. And I think that's what Rwanda is positioning herself to do, to be recognized in the world as a, a place to come to not only to visit, but a place to come to live, to invest, to love, to mingle, to just be human right here in Rwanda. That's what she is aspiring to. She has a long, long, long way to go. And many of you here uh, out there in YouTube land looking at this particular video, you can play a part in that if you choose. The opportunities are wide open. The opportunities in Rwanda are wide open for you to contribute to the growth and the expansion and elevation of this particular country. So again, don't take it negatively, take it positively. I'm just giving you a real objective view, a real view of the people here in Rwanda, the everyday people. See, I like to get down with the everyday people. Yes, I go downtown and I hang out with the, in, in the beautiful buildings and I eat beautiful lunches and buffets and things of that nature. But also, I've been here for the last three weeks. I've been taking cold showers. <laughs> well, not really. I don't get into the cold showers. But the particular place that I'm staying, they will heat up some water for me and I'll take kind of like a, a, a warm shower, if you will. Uh, back in the day, we used to call it taking a bath in the, in, in, in the sink, right? <laughs> Add some hot water, I get myself nice and wet, I get soaked up, I got some water I can pour over me, to, you know, and, and that's the way I've been doing it, like one of the locals. I'm eating Ivanje. I'm eating, I'm eating the, the local cuisine every day. You see, I can take the, 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 the seven, eight, ten dollars that I will go out and eat at a restaurant, I can take that and feed a family of four that I'm staying with, I can feed them lunch and dinner with a little left over. So the last few weeks of my stay, this is how I'm choosing to live as just, just one of the people. That's all, just one of the people. So one of the things I love about Rhonda, the people here are very, very, very humble. Um, they're very, very, very kind, loving, thoughtful, compassionate, helpful, you name it. Guess what? They're not perfect either. You got some you got some thieves here. <laughs> My girlfriend just had her laptop laptop stolen a couple of weeks ago. So you got petty crime going on here. Let's let's be real. Even though it's one of the safest countries in the world, last time I checked it was like number 6 in the world. So it's a very 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 safe country, but there is crime here. Mostly just petty theft. That's just pretty much the, the, the leading cause of, of, of crime here. Anywhere you have poverty, you're gonna have crime. So Rhonda has its share of that too, but it's very, very, very low compared to where I come from, which is Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> if y'all know Atlanta, Georgia, you know how that is, right? Off the charts in many ways in terms of crime. So Rhonda is very safe. Rhonda makes it very easy for you as Americans, as Europeans, as Canadians, Australians, Chinese, whatever, to come here and do business. Makes it very easy for you to come here and buy land, to come here and be a part of the fabric 
of Rhonda to help Rhonda grow. So the opportunity is here. There's no excuses. If you have some vision, you got some cash, you can come here and Rhonda and make an impact, a serious impact, not just on the economy, but in the lives of the people. Jobs here are almost non-existent. The employment rate is sky high in the 50s. They're not going to tell you the, the, the reality, but it's very, 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 very high. So you can come here and, and, and start business and employ people. They'll be for, for, forever grateful. Okay, so that's it. That's what I wanted to say. This is what I wanted to show you. Hope you get a good view of, uh, of Rhonda in this particular community. This is Gisozi. What's happening, bro? <laughs> You see, a lot of people are very shy too. They they want to get on camera, but when you show show a picture of them, they like, no, 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 don't don't show me. So this is it. I hope you like this particular video. I hope you got some value out of it. Again, the intent was just to show an objective view of Rhonda. Musehe, me the way. All right, so this is one of the stores I shop at. I get my vegetables there. Very, very, very affordable. You see the view there? Here's a little little shop where you can get your, your clothes tailored at. What's going on, my dear brother? Yeah, bro. They taking care of you? Yeah, 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 All yeah. Right. Sure. All right. You see the sewing machines there? The young lady right gets down on the sewing machine. We'll give you some custom clothes made right in here. Very, very, very affordable. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the beautiful rounding ladies. Uh-huh. <laughs> So look at this be beautiful, beautiful home here. In the middle of all these little little shanties, you got this beautiful home here that's just just finished. I think it's like three bedrooms, two baths. I think nice indoor kitchen, right? Right across from it, have a nice gated home right here. You can see a little bit of it. So a lot of people from these neighborhoods, when they make a little money, instead of leaving the neighborhood, they, they come back to the neighborhood or stay in the neighborhood and build in the neighborhood that they grew up in very, very, very cheaply and affordable. Very, very, very smart. So I live down this particular alleyway here. Hope you like this video subscribe to my particular channel share this video show me some love let's make a difference together all right peace love and soul <laughs>